Hi there. In this video, I'll show a quick demo of how what WhatsApp flows are, how we can build flows on WhatsApp and then capture those responses into a Google Sheet. So first of all, I want to quickly show you what WhatsApp flows are. So here's a quick demo video because I cannot open this on a desktop or a web app. I've actually recorded it from my WhatsApp mobile app. And then this is what it looks like. So you get a message like this. And when you click on the take survey button there, and then it would open a web view within WhatsApp asking you a few set of questions. So in this case, it's asking you, would you recommend us to a friend or some comments? And then it has a second screen that asks you further feedback as well. You can click on each of these and then provide individual feedbacks for each of these categories. And then you can go ahead and submit it. And this is how the entire details have been captured on WhatsApp. So and after this, you can capture the responses into a Google Sheet like this. So this is where we actually captured the response for the form into a Google Spreadsheet. How do you implement that? That's something that I'll walk you through on this video. So first step is basically once you have access to your WhatsApp business API platform, you go to the WhatsApp manager, you create a flow. So when you create a flow, uh, WhatsApp will already have some flow samples for you. So you can click on create flow and then you can say order feedback. You can choose the category. In this case, we are using for a customer survey and then whatever category you want to choose. In this case, you can choose either this or this. This is the one that I used. So you can choose any of these categories and it'll, it'll have some predefined forms for you. So this one actually has three screens. This one has about three screens again. So you can choose one of these templates and then click on create. What this does is this will actually create a JSON for the uh, flow for you. And this actually defines everything within the flow. So everything that you have here, there's a JSON created automatically. You can easily modify anything within this JSON. Let's say you want to add new fields, you want to modify details or text within the existing fields. You can do all of that. And then after all of this is done, you can actually check if the flow is accurate. So you have a run button here that allows you to run and preview what the flow would look like on an actual device. You can even see if there are any flow JSON errors. If they are, they'll be highlighted here. And then you can go through each of these screens also. You can even preview this on an Android or an iOS device. And once you've created that, you can go ahead and publish the flow. So I will publish this flow. And after the flow has been published, you can then attach this flow to a message template. So I'll show you how to do that. You can go into a message template and then add the name of the template here. You can attach that to a flow. In this case, it's already attached to a flow. You can add the content of the message also. And then what do you want the button text to look like? You can do that and then you can submit the flow for review. WhatsApp will review this and it could either approve it or reject it. Once it is approved, then you will have the use this flow to send out messages. So in this case, we already have this template that's approved and that's also attached to a flow. So this is the one that we used. Now, what we have done here is because we wanted to use Google Sheet as the integrated platform, uh, we made use of Google Apps Script. So on Google Apps Script, what we've done is, so we've actually, first of all, we've created a code here that allows you to trigger messages. So in this case, so we, we, we are actually listing down all the phone numbers that you want to send the messages to. And then you click on the send message. Uh, so you can actually click on send message for empty cells. And then it would actually go ahead and send the message also. Now the message has been sent. And then after that, anytime someone responds to a survey, this all comes here. So through a webhook. So what we've done here is we've created a do post function within a Google spreadsheet. And in this we've handled the responses. So, so whatever comes as a part of the web book, whenever someone submits a flow, we have handled that and we're storing that response within the Google sheet respective columns here. So that's what we've done. After that, we've went ahead and created a deployment for it so that it generates a web book URL for us. Once the webhook URL is generated, we can go into the meta developer portal and there you see a webhook section here. You can modify that subscription here, add your callback URL, add the verify token, you save it and then subscribe to this event called flows. And then what it does is anytime someone submits a flow, 
you get a call back on your google spreadsheet on google spreadsheet you've handled the logic so that it treats the json converts that into a google spreadsheet a format like this and then it stores the information here so anytime someone fills up a flow the details will show up here so i have this message on my phone right now so i will go ahead and submit the details and then i'm rating excellent good and for customer service i'm rating good again i'm submitting the details there he goes i submitted all the details and the details are showing up here so it shows up in real time as well so that's how the end to end flow thing works where you can send a flow using an api and then capture responses from the flow using a webhook and store that into a google spreadsheet thank you